Hey guys, it's me again. This time I'm going to be showing you how to put the homebrew channel on your Wii. If you have uh, firmware 4.2, this one's a lot easier than my last video, I promise. Um, so first of all, we need to find out if you have 4.2 or not. This is only for 4.2. Don't do this if you don't have it. Alright, so first thing we're going to do to figure out if you have 4.2 firmware is uh, turn on your Wii, of course. Let it load up a little bit. Press A to continue. Alright. This is your home screen or whatever. Just click down here on the Wii options. It'll bring up this page. Go over here on the right where it says Wii settings. Click on that. And uh, when this loads up, your firmware will be right here in the top right hand corner. Right there, this is version 4.2U. 4.2 means you have uh, 4.2 firmware. Okay, now let's start the tutorial. So go ahead and turn off your Wii. Some things you're going to have to have, just like the last video I made. You're going to need a computer. Sorry, my monitor sucks, but my computer's nice. You have to have a computer. You have to have SD card, just like the last one, and you got to have your Wii. Mine's over there if you can see it. Okay, so first thing, let's put our SD card in the computer. It'll read it. And from, I'll show you what to do on the computer. Okay, guys, now that you have your SD card inserted into your uh, computer, go ahead and open up that file. Here's mine. Delete everything that's in it. It's very recommended you do this, it'll help out a lot in the long run. Okay, now that everything is gone, you're going to need a few things. Go to the internet and go to this website right here. I'll um, post this link in the description, but um, when you come here, it says compatible with Wii Menu version 4.2 only. That's what I'm teaching you. Okay, there's this link right here. The first one on number two it says download ABD6A V200 zip. Click on that, it'll download. When you've got that, go find where you downloaded it. It'll be right here. Right click it, extract files, extract them right into your SD card. It'll create a folder and it'll say private. That's good. That's what you want. Alright, the next part. This is number three. It'll say the Hackman installer. Click that. It'll bring you to this website right here. It says boot me, and it's in the Wii boot to replacement. Boot me, and then it'll say this download right here. Click that. It'll bring you this. This is your next link. Go ahead and click that. It'll download and uh, go find where you downloaded it to. It'll say Hack Me Installer. Right click it. Don't um, don't extract this straight into your SD card. Just extract it somewhere else on your uh, computer. It doesn't matter. When you do that, it'll create this folder. Hack Me Installer. Double click it. It'll have another one. Double click that. And it'll say this boot.elf. That's what you want. So go ahead and take this and uh, open up your SD card. Here's my two. This is the SD card. This is the one that we just opened. That boot.elf, drag it right over there. It'll create this little boot.elf. I already got mine on there. So uh, your boot.elf. You need that and your private folder. When you got those two things on there, that's all you need. When you're done with that, that's, that's it. Now you can put your... Um, Okay, now that you're done with everything on the computer that I had you do, just uh, take out your SD card now. Let's come over here to the Wii. Alright. Now, what you want to do is you want to stick this in the Wii, but you don't want to click it. Don't click it in yet. Just kind of set it there. See, it's in there, but it's not clicked in. Don't click it. Don't click it. Alright. Now, go ahead and turn on the Wii. It'll load up. Click A to continue. Okay. Now this is loaded up. Go down here to the bottom. See this little SD card? If it's blank. Just go ahead and click that. It'll come up. It says nothing is inserted in the SD card slot. Now you click it in. It says loading from the SD card. This will pop up. 
It says load boot dol slash elf. If you paid for this, you were scammed. Make sure you don't pay for this. Don't. If you pay for it, you were scammed. Everything's free. Okay, go ahead and click yes. All right, now to load up. Must not be sold. It'll give you this thing. Just give it a second. It says press 1 to continue. Go ahead and click 1. Okay. This says uh, the test results are in. You can get the homebrew channel. It says the first one. It says can be installed. BUDX can be installed. And boot me can be installed. Go ahead and click continue with the A button. Install the homebrew channel. Install BUDX and boot me. Okay, go ahead and the top one, install the homebrew channel. Yes, continue. Up and down on your D-pad, and A to select. Success, see that? Go ahead and uh, continue. Okay, it says uh, install and uninstall. You're done that now. Go to the next one. Yes, continue. Success. Go down to the last one. Boot me. Install boot me. It really doesn't matter, I don't think. I just did the first one. Install now. Success. Continue. Return to the main menu. You can exit. This is your homebrew channel. Just like the first one, the first video I made. There's nothing here. You can click the bubbles, kind of fun. And, um. Sorry, that's fun. Uh, this next part should be the same as the first video on how to get the. Um, the installer or whatever I called it. I don't remember anymore. But, um. That's how you put the homebrew channel on your Wii. I might make a video later on how to put the browser installer or whatever that is on, on it again. Uh, but thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much.